Hi, Chuck Cashman here, standing on the back of the 2019 45 foot divergence from Ocean Alexander. I'm also standing in the middle of the Miami boat show, so you're going to see a lot of people run as we go through the boats. But uh, we're going to work around them so that you can get a real time preview of the world debut. You see two models. One's more for pleasure cruising and this one's more sport. It's got some fishing apparatus to it and uh, we're going to take you through both. But when you start, you're going to see it's a big boat, 45 feet, 13 and a half feet wide, but it feels bigger when you get inside. Like I said, this is the sport. So you got a, uh, you got a beautiful live well back here, very civilized sink so that you can wash up. You got rod holders, outriggers are available. But I don't know that this owner is going to be a heavy duty fisherman. This is, this is a day yacht. So standing here in the cockpit, one of the first things you're going to see, the scale. This boat's immense. It is a huge, wide cockpit. It's a very deep boat. When you look at the seating, the seating is deep. It's, uh, its heritage is more furniture than boat seating. This is a full-size, home-scaled couch. Now you're looking out over the ocean when you're not in the middle of the Miami Boat Show and you're getting the best view in the house under a beautiful shade that uh, comes out electrically. But you're also going to notice that you've got the fold-down gunnels. So these gunnels fold down. And if you look at the attention to detail on these carbon fiber poles and these stainless shackles, this is so that if you have kids and grandkids, you're kind of controlling that they don't fall out, even though they're just going to fall into the water where you're already swimming. But one very unique thing to this boat is you'll see profiled into that fold down gunnel is a side boarding ladder, side boarding gate. So when you're tied up at the dock, one of the biggest things is how do you get on and off these boats? So this one here, we got, a, we got it open. When you're tied up next to the dock, you swing that open and off you go. This one also folds down. That's something that Ocean Alexander's filed a patent on. Pretty cool stuff. So this deck is not teak. You'll see the boat next to us is uh, teak. Teak is standard on the swim platform. But because this is the sport version or the fishing version, they want to make it so that it's easy to clean up. You've also got a folding seat here. This will fold back when it's time to fish. You've got a little bolster that you're up against. But I tell you, besides the scale and the beauty of the furniture and all the appointments, as we go forward, you're going to see some pretty neat stuff. True carbon fiber, one hand operation. Here's your grill. You've got an induction stove. You've got a cooktop here, sink here, and this is carbon fiber. This little gas assisted struts, but uh, this feels like it weighs two pounds. And this is heat claved pure carbon fiber and you're going to see some of that treatment throughout the boat it's pretty special pull out drawers storage um, refrigeration and freezer which is nice and then the rest is uh, storage for you all your cooking utensils spices all the stuff that you use and obviously you're going to see a pop-up tv here this will go down when you're not underway but when it's time to watch the big game you're out in your boat you take this seat back, back, you pull that seat down, you got your home theater. Really cool. Sunday's games are uh, never going to look the same. Let's go up to the helm. It's awesome. Three big Garmin screens. This boat has the same octoplex system as the 112 Ocean Alexander. So this is this is a day yacht. This is what Ocean Alexander wanted to come out with. They wanted to come out with something that wasn't a, wasn't a center console, wasn't a typical runabout. This is a day yacht. When you look at the cleats and you look at the size of the, the handrail to the front, if you didn't know what you were on, you think you're on a 112 foot boat. These cleats are pop-up cleats, substantial, beautiful. It's got the Ocean Alexander emblem etched into it. But look at the size of that cleat. That's a, that's a healthy cleat. And you're going to see that throughout. Every, all, the, all the fixtures, fully digital, all runs through the Octoplex, three big Garmin screens. When it's time to retract the shade, it's all electronic. You've got a couple buttons up here for the redundancy, just in case 
and I tell you these screens are, are essentially bulletproof today. But if the screens go down, you can still control key features like navigation lights, start and stop on the engine. But everything else is uh, air conditioning at the helm, which I'll tell you on a hot day like today, I'm gonna give myself a little air. Makes it wonderful. Cup holders, phone holders, dry storage in there with uh, outlets to plug your phones in, whatever else you got. Here's another outlet here. Carbon fiber Etson wheel. And then when you get into the captain's position, it, this feels like a Recaro seat. It, it, is, it just grabs you. And then the helm's right here where you want it. Unbelievable visibility. Look at the size of that windshield, all one piece. It is, uh, feels pretty good sitting here, I'll tell you that. Treatments up above. You see a lot of hard tops with just fiberglass underneath. You got the LED lighting, you got the fabric that matches the upholstery. It really, I tell you, you, you know you're in a yacht. You know, and a lot of a lot of people won't say 45 feet is a yacht, but it's going to feel like a yacht. If you didn't know what boat you were in, and you looked at this helm, and you looked at some of the features on this boat, you would probably guess it's twice as big as it is. So here's a here's an example of the cleat, the pop up pop down cleat that uh, doesn't have a line around it. But I tell you what, that is a uh, that's a man sized cleat right there, and good grip going forward. The extrusion, if you look at the extrusion on the hardtop, this aluminum powder coated extrusion, this is the same character lines as the new OA 90. So you're gonna see that this boat is designed to be in line with their biggest boats. Big wide walk arounds, beautiful handrails all the way forward, sunshade on the bow, carbon fiber supports to hold it up. And again, this is uh it's beautiful. That's a work of art. Three different table options up here. You can get a fiberglass table, you can get a natural wood table, or you can get a carbon fiber table. This table, again, this is a, this is a work of art. It'll go down to form a sun pad if you want to lay out and get a little bit of sun, or it elevates if you want to eat. And I tell you, this bow area, this is very unique. This right here, you're not riding on the bow you're riding in the bow. This is, this is good, deep, sturdy with a handhold. If we headed out, we headed out government cut, which is right in front of us, we'd be in Bimini in about 90 minutes. If this thing wasn't tied up in the show, I'd make for a pretty nice day. But you get great seating up here and you could easily put three people here. You put three or four people up here and you're in the boat, you're nice and deep in this thing. So let's go check out the cabin. You'll get a visual again, how high the walk around is. You know, you're not reaching for anything. It's right here. Big wide handrail. Plenty of floor storage. We'll look at some of the table options on uh, the sister ship next door. But we'll head down in the cab and I'll show you some of the beauty. And this is where you'll really realize it's an Ocean Alexander. First of all, it starts with the wood. The woodwork is incredible. Now this looks like the same wood you'd see in a 90, 100 foot boat. And then one very, very unique feature for a boat of this size is you're gonna see a full-size head with a separate enclosed shower. Now that separate enclosed shower, if you're a boater, you're gonna go, aha, because that is, that's nice to have. So many boats in this size category have what they call a wet head where the shower just goes into the bathroom on the head. You pull a little curtain around you and then you, you squeegee the whole thing when you're done. In this particular boat, you take a shower, you shut the door, couple passes with the squeegee or chamois when you're done and you're done the rest of the head stays dry that's a that's a very elegant head and very important when you're taking a dozen people out all day somebody's gonna have to use the head again the woodwork is phenomenal very unique in here that uh, you've got a flip down bolster if you want to have seating so you'd sit here and you would rest your back up against that so you could easily eat six people around this table 
or when it's in the up position, the table goes down, filler cushions come in, and it makes your bunk. I don't believe this owner is going to spend too many nights in the boat, but if you had an overnight, you had a special trip, got caught in a little bit of weather, you'd, you'd love to spend a night in the boat. It's, uh, But I think this buyer, quite honestly, I think this buyer more than likely is going to have a bigger boat. This is going to be a second or third boat. And it's, uh, it's kind of designed to be that way. <clears throat> a little bit excessive in the attention to details and a little bit excessive in terms of the treatments and the materials, but it's also designed to be that way. Personally, I love it. You look at the Cambria tops and you'll see a little fleck in there that just gives it a very, very elegant, rich, refined look. This is a, this is a gentleman's yacht. Now we're going to go next door and we're going to look at the cruising version and it's even going to be more refined. You're going to see something, you can see a little more teak in the deck. You'll really see a little softer colors. This is a little racy, probably a South Florida boat. The boat next door we designed uh, with Naples in mind and you'll see the difference. So I'm standing on the back of the sister ship to the, to the sport boat that I took you through. This is more the cruising version. Already you're going to see the color scheme is, uh, it's rich, it's elegant, but it's a little more subdued. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. I, this would be my personal taste. You've got tank racks or fender storage. We think this buyer will do both. Beautiful one handle, wipe down, close the lid, shut her up, and you're off. And you'll see this boat has teak. So this is really designed to be that elegant day boat. Teak everywhere. I'm not going to take you through the operation of this, but this table comes up out of the floor. There's two panels that open up. Table rises. If you have a bunch of people, you can open the table up. So you've got a big dining table. Because this will go to cocktail height or it'll go to dining height. Goes up and down. And then when it goes away, those things fold back over and it completely disappears and you have a ton of room on the back of the boat. You see the color scheme? It's nice. This fabric is, is amazing. It's very high-end fabric, beautiful inlaid pattern, beautiful stitching, very well done. It's got the same TV, but really feels like a totally different boat. This one has the gunnels down on both sides and it extends it from a 13 and a half foot beam to almost 18 feet. You've got chairs that come out, there's a ladder that comes out right here. This is, this is paradise for the kids and grandkids. They're gonna be diving off this and jumping back in, and diving off and jumping back in. They're away from the engines where you want them. And you've got beautiful seating all around here under the shade to enjoy it. So this is a very quick tour of two boats that you could spend hours on. I appreciate the time that you took to watch this. If you want to find out more information about it, go to www.marinemax.com, Ocean Alexander 45. Look forward to seeing you on the next one.